so when we got the catalog, um, when did we get it? In July. We went through it, and there are, it's a good catalog. There's a lot of really awesome stuff in this one. But I was drawn to this page, which is funny because I don't usually do like buildery stuff like this. But the this still scenes um, stamp set and the snow globe scenes dies and these shaker domes. I love shaker cards because I love cards that kind of move and you can play with and whatnot. So I was like, ooh, I want to get that and play with it. And Beth was like, you're going to make me have to love it because I do not like it. <laughs> so I'm throwing her under the bus a little bit. So we'll see if I converted her or not. Let me show you the dies. I, I, I did one of these sheets up so you could see um, kind of better what the dies look like when they cut out. So you have the little, is that showing the, you have the little snow globe here and then two different bases. So you have one that's more detail-y. And again, I echo Frenchie. These dies cut out so fantastically. They really, you don't even have to really brush them out. They just come right off. So yay for that. And then you have all these cute little um, insides of the globe that you can use. So it's, it's a really fun little set. So I want to just kind of show you what I came up with playing with this. I started not using the little shaker globe because I wanted to show you some different ideas. So this has the cute detail bottom, but I also layered one of the regular ones behind. So it just gave it that cute look. And then I used embossing paste on here with the, the glimmer one. So that is fun. And then I used my first little globe, or what is globe? Yes, snow globe, shaker dome. And again, I used some of that um, embossing paste in there, and I just put some of the cute <coughs> snowflake sequins in there. So there's not many in there, but it's just a cute little wintry card. So fun. Oh yeah, do you see? how fun that is. Okay, and then, since it's on the same page as the cute frosted foliage, I needed to use that paper too. So I made this card with that set, and I just, that paper just does something for me. So I put those cute snowflake sequins in there again, and I like how it's almost like staticky, so the snowflake's kind of static to it. I don't know if you can see that or not but it looks like they're like falling. Isn't that fun? So then I wanted to have a little bit more fun. So I thought I need to put some water in there. So I put water and these cute iridescent sequins and just some of the dazzling diamonds glitter in there. So it, it almost, this is a happy birthday card, but I, it almost looks like a gumball machine, don't you think, with those? But it obviously is fun and movie. I literally put water in it. Did I take a cup? No, I literally put it underneath the faucet and filled it up. <laughs> so these are what how the domes come. Um, there are 10 in the package, and they're six fifty. So they're they're reasonable. So they're really cool. They are adhesive on both sides, so you can see. Sorry, you guys, look at this really quick. I was gonna paint my nails and be so cute, but then I'm like, you know, I, they get painted by the ink anyway. Why would I paint them? That's silly. So there's my pretty painted nail screen. Um, anyway, so you peel up either side and they're sticky here and on the back. And it's like good sticky, like tear and tape type sticky, guys. So they're like going to hold. They're pretty awesome. So I want to show you one other thing. I pulled, um, these are the cute, here. These cute um, Halloween, the Monster Bash enamel shapes. I think these are so cute. So I 
grab some of those and some of the orange sequins and I've got some rhinestones in here. And I wanted to show you how to make these because these are all like sticky, you know. Um, I wanted to show you how you can make them to put them in a shaker card and they're not gonna stick all over your paper. So our embossing buddy is our best friend, right? So you grab up your sticky thing, <laughs> enamel shape, and you just put it on the embossing buddy and get it all powdered up and it is no longer sticky after that. Did you know that? So cool. So you can do that with rhinestones and like other little things too. And then you can put them in a, in a little shaker card. So anyway, I put water in it, but then I was like, I want to make something where the shapes aren't moving so fast in the water, you know? So I asked Jill, do you have any clear gel, like hair gel, you know? But she didn't, so I went to her bathroom and she just had some hand sanitizer. <laughs> and it's clear, so it works. So I just like squish it in there. However much you want, that'll work. And then just take a window sheet and peel off your sticky back here. And like I said, it's like legit sticky. It's like tear and tape grade sticky. And just get it all the way around. And then you'll trim that up and you have a little cauldron. Do you see? And the shapes move slower than the water. Does that make sense? So I'll show you my project. So I made a little pizza box, it's a little cauldron, and the shapes just kind of move around in there. So I had fun playing with these little, um, I can't, you guys, I have to have my <coughs> cheat sheet, snow globe shaker domes. <laughs> um, and I love doing things in a way that they're not exactly meant for. So that's what I came up with is that. So thank you guys so much.